Colorado Springs' most popular events returns to Miraville College May 18th and 19th. It's the 38th annual Smoky Mountain Scottish Festival and Games. Hard to believe Keith Austin joining us, and he um, does demonstrations with Irish Sheepdogs, and you brought a special one with you today. Well, she's a Shetland Sheepdog, uh -huh. and she's just an example of one of the herding breeds from Scotland. We will have herding demonstrations there with Border Collies, as we usually do. And uh, on uh, Sunday, we all actually have a dog parade, so anybody can bring their dog, and we'd love to have uh, people come. It is a big tradition for the Maribel community. Why do you all host these Scottish games? Well, it's actually the largest festival now in Blount County annually. Uh, there's a lot of Scots-Irish history here. People settled here. Uh, somebody quoted a statistic the other day. There's 153,000 people living within 30 miles of the center of Knoxville who claim Scots-Irish descent. So we love to celebrate that culture. So if you're not Scottish and you might not like haggis, you might not own a kilt, come on out because it's a chance to experience the culture. It's like a trip to Scotland without leaving the area. You've got it all. You've got games, live music, food, but I mean, it really is a lot to take in. We have 11 pipe and drum bands this year. We have about 50 clans with historical societies. We've got 45, I think it is, vendors with merchandise and food. So again, if you don't like haggis, come out and have a funnel cake. Yeah. <laughs> and it's kid friendly. 16 and under are at no charge. And some of the demonstrations, in, as far as the games that, that people mm -hmm. will see, mm -hmm. pretty incredible to watch. Oh yeah, they're really unique. The caber throw, the stone throw. I mean, there's all sorts of uh, unique athletics that go back a long ways in history and have a tremendous uh, value to the culture. Remind us the times, the location, and parking. Maryville College. Mm -hmm. There is no charge for parking, so plenty of parking out there. Uh, it'll start at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning, one of the best times to come because you hear the pipes warming up, and then it'll run again on Sunday. On Sunday at 7.30, we have a, a half marathon 5K if you want to participate in that in a kilt. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and a kilt, yeah. yeah and a kilt. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, if you don't have a kilt, just come on out. Enjoy us. Enjoy us. Certainly a tradition. The 38th annual event in Blount County, as he said, one of the largest events now in the county. Going to be a fun time. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. We're coming right back after a quick break.